region? Well, that's what I discuss with my guests. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to you. I'm just going to do a quick introduction here. Yetunde Omede is a professor of global affairs at Farmingdale State University of New York. Vanda Felba Brown is a senior fellow at the Brookings Institution here in Washington. She's also the co-director of the Africa Security Initiative. And Mutaru Mumuni Mukhtar is the executive director at the West Africa Center for Counter Extremism. He joins us from the Ghanaian capital of Accra. Thank you so much for being here. Yatunde, can you please start us off here? When you look at the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan, now the developments that we have seen in that country over the past few weeks, America's very chaotic exit from that country. What is the takeaway here for jihad terrorist groups operating in Africa? As we see it now, there are many fragile states in the continent of Africa that has definitely been a, a hub for terrorist activity, for terrorist training. When we're looking at the Sahel region, we're looking at northern Africa as well. Um, we have seen al-Shabaab, we have seen al-Qaeda, we have seen um, ISIS, we have seen Boko Haram wreak havoc locally. And I think Western countries, in a sense, think that, well, this is their own domestic issue and that they have been localized. However, the thing about terrorism is that it knows no borders. And so we, uh, and we have different priorities here at, at the given time due to the pandemic, due to our own right-wing extremism um, that has caused some terrorist attacks here in the United States. However, we cannot um, turn a blind eye to many countries in Africa that has been a hotbed for terrorist activity. The thing about what we have seen, especially in the case of Nigeria, Boko Haram, they have, in a sense, switched tactics. Years before, we have seen suicide bombings. Now, we